Hi, I am Sharon, and today I'm sewing the pockets on those green style warrior pants. And I'm going to start off with just showing you the pocket piece. Um, you're going to only have one pocket piece for your size, and the front pocket is larger than the back pocket. And the pockets are cut on this fold. And when you're cutting your pocket pieces out, it's really important that you copy all of these notches on the pocket. I think my the, one of the most important ones is the center fold because you'll need that to line up your pockets. So we're going to start with sewing the back pocket to the back of your pants. So right here I have my two back pieces facing down. You can tell they're my back because I have a yoke sewn already and top stitched. And this is my back pocket piece and I can tell because it's not as wide. Um, it's a shorter width than the front pocket piece. So I'm going to start with turning them right sides together. So I'm going to get, I'm going to match these, and I'm going to sew one side onto the side of one back pocket, or I'm sorry, one side onto one back piece, and then the other one onto the other, and then I'll be right back after I have those sewn on. I went ahead and I sewed the pocket piece on, and then I sewed all the way down the, the rest of the leg. just onto the edge of the fabric, just to neaten the edge of the fabric. Um, and I did that on both sides. So that's the pocket piece sewn to the side. And I'm going to go do the same thing for my front pad, for my front piece. Okay. I have my front legs sitting out. Here's the side of the leg, here's the crotch curve, and then here is my front pocket piece. Um, so I'm going to turn it to where these are right sides together. And I'm going to line up these notches right here and then line up the top of the pocket with the top of the front. And I'm going to sew here and then all the way down the side of the leg. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other leg. I'm going to sew the pocket piece right sides together here. And then whenever I get to the bottom of this pocket, I'm just going to keep on surging until I get to the bottom of the pant leg. Okay, I just got through sewing my front pockets onto my front, the front of my pants. And so now you're going to have one pocket like that, and then the front of your pants. And now I'm going to line up the right sides of my crotch curve, right sides together, and I'm going to sew the crotch curve. So you'll have, this is the center of your pocket, and then this is where I'm going to sew now. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to sew my front crotch curve, and I'm also going to pick up my back piece, the back, and I'm going to sew that crotch curve as well. Okay, I just got through sewing my crotch curves. This is the front of the pants, and then I sewed the crotch curve on the back of the pants. So now I just have one continual loop on my back, and then the same on my front. And I'm going to turn the front of the pants right side out. You can tell which one's the front of your pants because it doesn't have that yoke, um, and the crotch curve is a little shorter. So I have it right side out now. And I'm going to put it inside the back of my pants. And I'm going to match up my side seams and then the center of the pocket. So I'm going to take my clips. Or you can use pins. And I'm going to clip my pockets together all along here. You grab my clip. So I'm going to start whenever I'm clipping here is it's really important that you mark that is to line these two marks up on the front pocket and the back pocket and just make sure that you can lay these flat because where we're sewing next is all along underneath the pockets and it's really important that everything stays lined up when you're sewing there. You might be curious what you're what you're doing here, but I'm just telling you that once you finish sewing these pockets, you're going to and I love your result. So you, you should have these notches that you cut out. And those notches indicate to you where you're starting and stopping your sewing. So I'm going to clip these two notches together.
I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And you know, sometimes I don't always clip her pin like I should, but this is one of those places where I make sure that I've put lots of clips and lots of pins so that everything stays where it should. Okay, so now I am going to start sewing right here. But do you notice that you're going to have this gap that you're not sewing right now? You're going to start where this notch is right here, and you're going to sew all along the bottom of this big pocket piece. Um, you can use your sewing machine, a stretch stitch. Um, I'm going to just do it really quickly on my serger. I'm going to make sure that I start where I should, um, and then remember that that's open. And I'll be right back. Okay, I just got through sewing my entire bottom of my pocket together. And remember, you're going to have only started where your back pocket begins. Because remember, your front pocket is, is um, more wide than your back pocket. So you're going to have this unsewn piece right here. And we're going to take our pants, and we're going to turn them right side out. And after they're right side out, we're going to move on to the next step, which is we're going to find the front of our pants. And once we've found the front of our pants, we are just going to... Um, top stitch. We're going to top stitch down here and when we get to the bottom of the pocket we're going to keep on top stitching and what we're going to do is we're just going to turn turn that under 3 eighths of an inch and we're going to just keep top stitching all the way down the leg and we're going to do that on both sides. Just And it's going to hem the front of your pants and then it's going to keep this where we want it. Okay I'm back from I just got through top stitching the front of my pants. I started at the very top and I just top stitched the pocket down and then I kept on by hemming the front of the pants and I did that on both sides. I used a double needle so you can see my back side of it um, here. And now I'm going to do something similar to the back of the pants but this time I'm not going to touch anything up here. I'm going to let that lay flat and I'm going to start right here. I'm going to turn this under 3 eighths of an inch and I'm only going to hem the back of my pants. And I'm going to leave the pocket part alone right here. Okay, I just finished hemming the back of my pants, and I only hem from here to here, and I gave it a good press and seam. And now I'm going to turn it to where the front is facing towards me, and you're going to have your front piece, your pocket bag, and then your back piece. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up, I'm going to start in the very center, so I'm going to find these notches right here. And then line them up with the seam in the front. And I'm going to put a clip there. And I'm going to line up all along here. And I'm just going to baste these together. I'm going to baste the top of the pocket to the front of the pants. And that will help me to get everything lined. But it's really important that, that you're keeping this part together. That you aren't getting that off center any. Um, and then once you have this all clipped and pinned, we're going to sew across this. Okay, I just basted it across the top to keep my pocket bag in place. And now you have your just your regular pocket, your pants opening like this. So you see your pocket, and you see your back, and you see your front. And now we're going to create the opening to the pocket. And to create the opening, you're going to want to, you see how the front has overlapped the back right here? So the back has gone underneath the front. And you see the space it is. Well, it's the same amount of space that it's also overlapped it down here. And we're going to sew over our top stitching lines whenever we top stitch this pocket right here. We're going to sew over those lines. And whenever you did your pocket piece, you um, you made a mark right there, but mine's not there anymore. So I'm just going to get my pocket, and you see how far down it goes. And you can just remark it. So the first place you're going to sew is from the top to where that first pocket marking is. And it's really easy to keep the, the fold over right here. But it's where it gets tricky, so you're going to want to pin that really good. This is the one place where we can't use our clips. So is that you want to keep the, the same even amount of overlap throughout this. Because if you don't, your pocket's going to bunch up. That's a little strange. Um, so you're trying to get all these layers to lay even. One trick is that you can put it on the edge of like a table or your ironing board. Um, 
I just kind of put my hands underneath here and I feel I feel where I want this to overlap that and I'll pin right here and make sure that when you pin right there because it's really easy to do that you do not catch your back that you are only pinning the front to the pocket so you see how I didn't catch my back and so now that I have that first pin right here, I'm also going to want to put pins along here because your pocket opening, you see how you have the one line right here and then I have another line right here. So your pocket opening is really just from here to here and we're going to top stitch over our top stitching lines from that first inch and then from here and then we're going to top stitch all the way down until the marking, our leg slip marking that we did um, and that would be on the front pattern piece. So if you lost it whenever you went under, you can go and grab it from your front pattern piece. But um, So you see how this is like all bunched up? So it's really easy to accidentally get off here. So you're just going to spend your time working out this overlap, making sure it's all even, because the back of your pants is going to come around some like that. And you're going to use a lot of pins. The more, the better, because the more pins you have, the more even that you keep it, because it can easily shift, especially if you're working with like a fabric that is more um, shifty. This is a double brush poly, so it likes to fix itself, which is kind of helpful on this on this part. So you see how nice and flat I'm getting it. And if you're not sure how even you're getting it, use a ruler, and you can check all along there and see what how much it should be overlapped and then just keep the the uniform amount throughout that. So I'm gonna put pins all along here and I'm gonna top stitch here and then I'll come back and I'll do the other side. Okay, I'm gonna show you this one more time before I go and top stitch over it. What I'm doing here, how I'm overlapping the front over the back. So you have your notch at the at the top and the notch is your side. And then you have where your back has wrapped around to the front and this seam is right here and this is where your pocket back begins for your front pocket well we're making the pocket opening and is how you're doing the pocket opening is we're going to just stitch over our top stitching from here to here and then we're going to do the same thing stitch over our top stitching from here to here from the bottom pocket marking to the leg slip marking and it's really important that we're keeping the distance the same and that's how I do a lot of this is I reach my hand underneath and I whenever I'm pinning and I'm making sure I'm keeping everything flat and I'm keeping the overlap the same throughout and so that I don't get any bunching and I've had I do a lot of pins on it and see this is going to make our pocket opening and you know if you don't like your split that high you can always go lower than that just make sure you do it even on both sides um, or if you want it higher you can always go higher too okay now I'm going to stitch this I'll be right back Okay, I am in the middle of top stitching the pocket so that I have the pocket opening and then the slides, side slit. So I was just going to show you, I'm making sure I clear that back out and then this is what it looks like underneath. I'm only top stitching the front to the back. And I do not sew over pins. I do not like to break needles. that's it now you are finished making your pocket opening and your side slit and you can move on to sewing up your inseam and putting on your waistband and hemming and then you're done this was the most involved part of the pants here's what my insides look like see on the inside you have a fully formed pocket bag your yoke in the back Got your fun pants, your warrior pants. Okay, we just got through sewing our pocket opening. So we've top stitch here and then as far down as we want. And then we're going to open up our pants. So we're just going to take the front of the pants 
and lift it over the back and expose our pocket bag. And when you do that, the reason we're doing this is because your front pocket is wider than your back pocket, so you're going to have a hole in the bottom of your pocket. So you need to go back and just take a stretch stitch, and we're going to stitch right here. And we're going to stop before we get to the front so that we're not sewing over that. And you're not going to see anything from the outside, but it just gives you a way to keep everything in your pocket that you put in there. And then you're done with your pocket instructions. Thank you for listening. Bye.